I think people is going to be blown away by the Cuban sets. I am Cuban and I know exactly how Cuba looks like and I, and I think it's very hard to recreate a country like this where there is this decadent aspect of it but at the same time so much color and, and it's so rich and, and, and the pass of time through the city and the people and the, you know, the texture and even you, it's even the weather, you, it's like you can feel it on the screen. And, and when I stepped into those sets, I was, uh, you know, blown away by it. She's um, relatable and she's real and she's flawed and, and, and I think uh, very approachable and I think people's gonna like her, women are gonna like her. Uh, there's um, something about her that is almost like uh, this simplicity and this normalcy in the way she carries herself and the relationship with Bond uh, that it's it's all it's playful but then at the same time she's very serious and all she cares about is the job is the biggest job she's ever had so all her attention is about that and she just wants to get it right I think Daniel is one of the best James Bond ever. Obviously, he he has the the sophistication and the strength and the attitude and the talent. But I think personally, something that makes him stand out more and and makes the character more special is and maybe people doesn't don't perceive him that way. It's how funny Daniel is and he has this sense of humor and this charisma uh, that makes him create a character that's very relatable and real. And I admire Daniel very, very much. Thank God I had like an amazing stunt uh, team that you can't get better than that. You have the, it was the best people you can work with and they were very patient and they, you know, they gave me all the tools and the confidence of, um, to, to, to actually believe I could do it in such a short time.